Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm going to show you how to manage your home theatre PC using Tiny Media Manager. So let's get started. The first thing you'll have to do is actually download Tiny Media Manager. To do that, go over to www.tinymediamanager.org, click on Downloads, and select your operating system. There's a portable version and an actual installed version. I've got the version installed in my system, but once it's downloaded, you just install it like any other Windows application. Once it's been downloaded, it should show down here. Click on it and it will open up. Now, I've been experimenting with mine, but it comes up with a wizard asking you to select a folder where your movies are, your series are. However, trying to reset those settings to redo the tutorial wasn't working for me, so we're just going to have to make do. So if you wanted to add a folder for it to scan, you would click up here, click on Update Sources. You would then select Add a New Movie Data Source, and then you would choose whichever folder on your drive that you required to be scanned. So I'll use a copied folder in mine, just click OK. It should rescan for a moment, I'll just open that full screen, and then you should get a list of your films, or TV series or music, whatever you decided to do. So. One of the settings I like in this is if you click on settings up in the corner, you can go down here, you can go to the renamer. Now there's a separate renamer set for movies and for TV shows. And you can click automatically rename. And this will show you a rough idea of what it should look like down here in the examples. So in this case, this film's actually Critters 2, the main course. And that's not quite right how it would look, but it will give you a rough idea because obviously it's got English, which is a language with subtitles on it. And if we go down here, we can see the same. So it'll give you the show title, the season of the show, the episode of the show, and then the title of the episode if that was available. So I've got, I'm just going to click here and select auto renaming in this one. I already have it set in my movies. As you can see here, that's something worth doing. Do so at your own risk though, because if it identifies a movie incorrectly, then it can cause issues. Once it's done scanning, you can click here, you can do Control A to select everything. You can right click and it'll give you some options. You can search and scrape the movies, the selected movies, sorry. Search and scrape selected movies, forcing the best match. Select and scrape all unscraped movies, forcing the best match, so that's good if you continually add to your database. And scrape from the metadata for the selected movies. So. Which one you choose depends entirely on yourself, but if we search and scrape and force the best match, Spike's jumped up in his purring saying hello, you can click start scraping, just use the default scene. And when it finds something that it doesn't know, it should come up and ask me. As you can see, it's beginning to tick boxes down here. Those tick boxes show that it has metadata and that it's downloaded images associated with it. These would be the cover art that you would see when you imported these into your Plex server, for example. If you notice, it's actually been quite successful. The only exception being the ones that actually have a leading number on them. So in this case, it's come up with one that it doesn't know. Okay, so you can tell from the folder name above, that's part of the American Tale trilogy. So we can delete the NG from the end and search, but that doesn't end. If we delete the 01 from start and hit return, there we go. It's selected. An American Tail, so we can click OK, and it'll now set up for that. Again, this is very similar. It's basically that there's been too much information in the file name, so we take out the number at the start, and then we take out the junk at the end, because we can tell from the start that's the Nightmare on Elm Street collection. Just click OK. Sorry, click Search, and there we go. Click OK. And you would just continue doing this throughout your entire Collection. As you can see, this is the third challenge of 62 challenges that it's going to give me. I just aborted the queue just now, but as you can see from here, it's actually downloaded the cover art. And obviously, if you look down in the corner at the moment, it's doing the rename and clean up as well. All in all, this is actually a great way to manage your media center. Once these folders have been renamed, you can literally copy them into the same folder that your Plex scans, and your Plex will come up and show these movies without any problems. If you like this video, give it a like. If you dislike this video, give it a dislike too. If you get feedback in this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future, then please let us know in the comments below. And most of all, thank you for watching.